What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? So I take everything back I said about the course being vanilla. That one module is vanilla. Right after that, they went into using ChatGPT to make uh, commerce websites. Long and short, they're showing you how to use AI to make Silk Road. If you want to take it that, they're not saying make Silk Road. That would make it bad. But they're just making a commerce website. But that's what Silk Road was. Dude, the world is getting so small now. Like, what? Dude, oh my God. I, I'm trying to like keep myself from getting super excited and like not all over everything because of this hacking bullshit. So I do need to warn everybody. Like right now, we're going into the part where you make it look more believable. Look, when you're on the dark web and they have a $500 course about dark web forensics that I was going to take, but I didn't want to spend $500 at the time because I was doing other shit. Uh, I'm sure they'll have another one about it, but... um. Look, on the dark web, fancier is worse. That means more ways to be attacked. That means more injections, more attack services. Like, did you know that on Tor browser, if you download anything, they get your real IP? How else, is, how else are they going to get it to you, right? You have to proxy everything. You have to hide your exit and entrance points. And... Most of the time, all those like Java links and the flashy thingies and all that bullshit, that's client side direct to your endpoint. They're going to get your IP that way. If the whole point is to remain anonymous, you're not anonymous on Tor with flashy things on Tor. You have to go into the settings and disable them manually. You would think of an anonymity privacy browser would be set with that as default, but it's not. You can tell it's working when like everything is being rejected and you're like i can't understand it this site is being rejected but i can see it on google this is bullshit why would they let me see it on tour with all the privacy things enabled because that means that they're doing some shit to entrap you on it probably is the feds so just i just i just have to let people know because they're not gonna if one person sees this and they find out in the course it's not vanilla 100 percent, it's not vanilla that was just a vanilla module but when you are accessing the web, you want like, to be quick. There, there's a reason why everything on, on onion sites is basically still browser based and command line based. That's the most easiest way to remain anonymous. If you want to do something, and you don't care if people know about it or if they have your information, that's what the regular web is for. Even with a VPN, they're going to get your shit. On Tor. Uh, like, first you got the deep deep web, right? Then you got into the dark web, all right? You do not want people being able to find your IP. Technically, what saved me when I was doing this shit and it turned out to be the feds was that they didn't have my IP. They had my address. Even though it was encrypted, they couldn't use it in a court of law. So they had to like zero it down to like one of these three, four houses, you know, <clears throat> in like the zone area where like the fucking whatever the fuck is the switch from Comcast or, or uh, what is the other one? Verizon or whatever the fuck, right? I even specifically remember after all that bullshit happened, they sent uh, like a internet van up there to like fiddle around and add like a switch or something like that in the area like a load balancer or something like that for better logging anonymity 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 I like the I'm gonna keep on doing I might I still have it written down the AI story shit just like this got look dude dude the shit that, okay, so Silk Road 1, allegedly, everything was like, oh, this is the laptop, this is Ross's laptop, it's the laptop. That's why on Silk Road 2, everyone learned, and it became the USB. You just download the config file, and worst case scenario, you got to upload a new config file if everything crashes, right? That's what it was. This is one step beyond that. Now, and this course was developed in June, over the summer. 
So it's technically it's already, it's already five, five months old from, from when the course material was first used. There have been updates to ChatGPT since then. Now you can just take a picture of the, the web page code, give it to ChatGPT and be like, add the CSS, add, add the HTML, add all the other bullshit to it, make it look more fancier and all that bullshit. Jesus, this is rad. I'm going to finish this thing up. It's not vanilla. All right, peace out.